Well, for more than two weeks, services at the Al Shifa Hospital in northern Gaza came to a halt as Israeli forces laid siege to the Strip's biggest health facility. Many patients have since experienced severe complications, and a number of them have died. The hospital is trying to restore critical operations, at least for now. We'll speak to Dr. Marwan Abu Sada, who's the chief surgeon at Al Shifa Hospital. He's joining us from Gaza. Uh, joining us on the telephone from the hospital itself. Uh, Dr. Abu Sada, thanks for your time. Can you tell us about the situation at El Shifa Hospital right now? Uh, and at this moment, we are preparing the hospital to receive a new patients, especially to our emergency department. We are cleaning the hospital from the old drugs, uh, dirties in it. And we are collective with our team to come to Shifa Hospital. And I think in one or two days, we'll open our emergency department to receive the patient. We, yesterday, we succeeded to manage and to do a kidney dialysis for the patient within the stage renal failure for more than 30 patients at our center of the kidney dialysis. And we are calling all patients who are in need for kidney dialysis to come to Shifa Hospital is ready now to accept more patients and on. A still operating theater is not ready and the whole department is not, not ready to admit the newcomers and so on. But it's uh, if we are preparing the ground to receive more and more patients in the maybe next to, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we'll open the emergency department and in the next days we'll open the theaters and the other department to receive the patients. Still in Gaza, as you know, more than 700 Thousand patients are allocated mostly in the north area, in the eastern area of Gaza and north of Gaza. They are living there, and still they are in need of uh, medical services. And the hospital. So, is Al Shifa Hospital the... able to accommodate these patients as well? Until uh, now, not yet. We are right. okay. We are in bad need for a fuel to run our generators, and we have to repair some of the oxygen generators which is damaged by the Israeli army during the incursion of uh, Shifa Hospital. Still, we are in need. No fuel arrived how much to fuel? the medical... Yeah, how much fuel so, have, have you gotten at El Shifa Hospital? Uh, nothing. We, we got nothing from a fuel from UN. They are uh, sending a fuel to the world of the uh, affiliated to the UN and to the municipality, uh, some of the municipality and to the uh, some of the other services. Uh, Red Crescent Society services for the ambulance. And nothing uh, received from the Minister of Health for the hospital, uh, for the hospital use and so on. Till now, we are waiting to receive uh, fuel to run our generators, especially in the hospitals, Shifa, and in the north area and Indonesian hospital. So when, you, when you've asked for this fuel, presumably you have, what have you been told about when you will receive it? And also, <laughs> no, with the aid... Till now. Oh, go on. Yeah, we we spoke with the UN personnel who came with this uh, tanks of fuel, and we asked them about the fuel for the hospital. This is uh, their responsibility. Okay, they asked. They told us this is not the fuel uh, designated for the hospital. It is designated for the world and for other municipality services and so on, and for Red Crescent Society ambulances. This is what I uh, heard from them till now. And Israelis, they are not allowing any fuel to come to the hospitals, to the, especially to Minister of Health hospitals directly these days. This day. From the aid that's come in from uh, to Gaza through the Rafah border crossing over the past few days while the ceasefire has been in place, how much aid has reached you at El Shifa Hospital? I know what you've said about fuel. Uh, uh, what about no, medical uh, aid that you've needed? Have you gotten no, anything? No. Uh, since the ceasefire, okay, nothing is coming to the hospital. I think some most of the medical aid it goes to uh, southern area, southern hospital. Nothing is coming to the uh, northern area of Gaza. Just the food and the water and other stuff. That and the fuel, some of the fuel, which uh, designated to the other uh, to other surfaces, a part of health services in Gaza. This is uh, how many patients uh, are currently still at El Shifa Hospital today? No, I, I, sadly to say that we don't have any patients now. Most of the patients are evacuated to the Southern Hospital, but the huge number of patients, they are at home. They are asking for the services to complete their management. Not all patients who got injured during this war, they are 
They went to the Southern Hospital. They stayed here in Gaza and in the northern part of Gaza. A huge number of injured patients with a fracture. They are coming each day to ask about the health service, but okay, it is closed, the Shifa. But tomorrow we hope that we'll open the emergency department and to start to receive the newcomers and new, uh, new patients to Shifa Hospital. In terms of priorities as to what you need right now, You've been very clear that you need ah, fuel. Yes, yeah. Can what you tell us what fuel. else? The top of priority for us is the fuel and to repair the generators, okay, to maintain our oxygen generators and so on. But the most important thing is the fuel to run the generators of the hospital. Without the fuel, we cannot do anything really in this hospital. Uh, Dr. Abu Sada, just a final question for you, because we know that when Israel uh, besieged the hospital and forced the patients to leave, uh, at the time, or a few days later, it um, detained some of the medical staff working there, including the, the director of the hospital, Mohammed Abu Salmiya. Um, can you update us on, um, do you know anything about his status or his whereabouts uh, right now? Uh, uh, still, Dr. Abu Salmiya in detention from the Israeli side, I think. And I think uh, more than six doctors still they are in detention of the Israeli side. And another, okay, medical staff is still there. Okay, I doubt about the number, I don't exactly know. I think about six doctors and other medical staff still. And more, and uh, some of our people, uh, Palestinians who live in Gaza, they, in their way to the south, they have been detained and so on. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Marwana Busada. Thank yeah, you for speaking okay. to us on Al Jazeera.